Well, I think today is gonna be a good day. Good day everyone, it's Mike from Finding Fish. Welcome to Cuba, welcome to K.O. Cruz, and welcome to the Sanctuary White Sands in K.O. Cruz. Left Toronto yesterday around five o'clock, took the 5.30 actually. The plane left early, which was nice. Uh, arrived into K.O. Coco on time. Beautiful flight, fantastic sunset flying in here. Not a lot of people on the plane, so going through customs was easy. Anyway, got loaded up onto the bus, I believe around 9.30, and it took about an hour and a half to get here to the sanctuary, uh, White Sands. Check-in was absolutely a breeze, taken straight to my room to offload. My room was beautiful, but I'll show you that later. Anyway, then I went down to the main lobby. I checked out the snack bar quickly. They had a hot dog, ham and cheese, a few other offerings last night. I wasn't that hungry, so I just went down to the main lobby, grabbed a cerveza, watched soccer for a little bit. The resort was pretty quiet. It's low season now, pure low season. So if you're coming here in June, July, August, September, it's low season. But if you're looking to get away, well, it's a perfect time to come. Anyway, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. I'm just checking out the sunrise right here on the beach. And I'm here to check out this brand new resort that just opened in March. I'm dying for a cappuccino and I'm probably gonna get a Spanish coffee to start my day. Anyway, stay with me because I think today is gonna be amazing. If you're coming for morning coffee, you're probably coming to the main lobby bar. Now this is a 24 hour lobby bar. This is where you're gonna get your cervezas. This is where you're gonna get all your mixed drinks. This is where you're gonna get your cappuccinos, your Spanish coffees, and absolutely everything else. I'm starting off my day right now with a cappuccino. I got here so late last night and I'm dying for one. I'm gonna finish my cappuccino off and we're gonna go through this lobby bar and resort. So this is the main lobby and the main lobby bar area. When you get off the bus, this is where you're gonna enter. And as you enter, you're gonna go right to the extreme left and you're gonna notice reception. And reception's pretty easy here. Honestly, like I was in and out of reception literally within five minutes. It is low season, so in high season, it might take a little bit longer, but there are a lot of people here that'll whisk you through. Anyway, I had to sign a few quick little documents and away I went. Right beside that, you're gonna notice the travel rep. If you wanna book an excursion, if you wanna go somewhere, there I believe he probably starts around eight or nine in the morning and he probably works till about four or five. Anyway, if you need to go somewhere, he'll look after you. Now, as you enter and as you keep going, you're gonna notice the sitting area and you're gonna notice the lobby bar. 24 hours, if you want an iced coffee, if you want a cappuccino, if you want a coffee, latte, vodka, you name it, just ask, they'll let you know. Along with that, you're gonna notice the bathrooms, which the men's bathroom, totally clean. I just checked it out just to show you, just to let you know. And you're gonna wanna know, this place has an elevator because this main building has four floors. And the rest of the resort, it has three floors. So if you have an ailment, if you have a disability and you want to get around this resort, this resort might be for you, Steve, because it's flat and it's convenient. And if you need assistance, they can assist you. And if you need wheelchair accessible rooms, they're right here in the main lobby area. Just talk to reception and they'll let you know. Anyway, that's the lobby bar area. Let's keep going.
Now this is the main buffet and it's located to the left of the main lobby area. You just can stroll through a little walkway uh, so you're totally covered just in case you do come in rainy season. Now it opens at 7 and it closes at 10. They had lots to offer when I got here but you know things come and go in Cuba and it is low season so if you're hungry I would say come early. They had eggs, they had my omelet, they had uh, a little bit of meats, they had some salamis and some cheeses and it looks like they had some ham. They had some pre-made up ham and cheese sandwiches. Then they had breads, a toasting station with butter. They also had a small selection of fruits and a small selection of pastries. And they had a waffle station. So if you're looking for that, you know, it's here. There's something for everybody if you're coming here. I just got myself an omelet with three eggs and some minced chicken and I'm happy. I also ordered a coffee. You can get your coffee or cappuccino, anything you need here, water, sodas. You can either sit outside or you can sit inside, but I always love to sit on the outside and uh, that's how I'm gonna start my day. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna keep going. Wow, beautiful day out today, gorgeous. Probably around 30, 30 degrees right now. It's actually beautiful here, considering I'm just coming from Toronto, where it was about 35 degrees stifling. Down here, beautiful breeze, not a lot of humidity. Life is good. For the money I paid, life is good. Anyway, out front of the main lobby in the main lobby bar area, you're gonna notice the pool and the pool area. This place is kind of built like a horseshoe, so it is simple. It's not very wide, but it's very deep and it goes a long way. Anyway, let's go check it out. So this is the pool and the main pool area. And like I said, this place is built like a horseshoe basically. Very narrow, but very deep. The only things in front of us right now, these pools and the beach, that's it. That's all you have to worry about. And it's fairly flat here. So if you have a wheelchair, if you have an ailment, it's easy to get around. Now it looks like it's a kind of a wading pool. Like I, it goes really shallow to like deeper. And then in the center here, it's gonna be the main pool bar, which looks like it's pretty cool too. Anyway, it's awesome. Looks like there's lots of palapas, lots of umbrellas, lots of places to hide, lots of loungers. You don't have to worry about loungers. And it looks like the loungers are those nice white fabrics, so it's not gonna get stifling hot when you sit in it. Now, it is low season, keep that in mind, so place is packed. I have it to myself. Pool area is done. Let's go get suited up. Let's go find this beach. Now I'm in building number seven here. Smack dab right on the beach, third floor, sweet. Um, you won't believe this room, it's beautiful. Anyway, enough said, let's go check it out. So when you enter my room, the first thing you're gonna notice is a place to take your shoes off and hang your jacket which is ideal. Right beside that, you're gonna notice that I have a small little bathroom with a toilet, a sink, and it's actually quite a good size. After that, I move forward into my little living room and you're gonna notice I have a closet, which has a safe, I have a little sewing kit, I have an iron ironing board, I have a place for my luggage, I have a robe, slippers. Then I have a couch, I have a sitting area with a table, chairs, I have a TV, I have a beautiful ocean view. Everything to me, it's awesome in here. It's well lit up, has a beautiful paint job. It's fresh, clean, it looks amazing. This is the best room in the hotel. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the pinnacle. It's the suite. I think it's gonna be offered in the fall as a Diamond Club upgrade suite. Um, as you can see, my mini fridge is completely stocked with everything, you will get that as well. I have two bottles of alcohol as well in my room, which is amazing. I don't know what to drink first, the 12 year or the eight year. Anyway, I'll decide that when I'm done this video. 
And then you're gonna notice my bedroom. Now, when I walk into my bedroom, it's gorgeous. It's fantastic, it's stunning. My air conditioner works well. I have two air conditioning systems. They both work well. It was cold last night, so I turned it up to 24. Look how bright it is in here. I have an ocean view and I have a pool view. I have a beautiful bathtub, came with a bottle of champagne, two sinks with toiletries. I love that Zen product. I have a blow dryer as well. And then I have my shower. Two heads in my shower. And I have a toilet. And my toilet, they both have their own lighting systems. This whole place has a crazy lighting system so I can turn anything that I need at nighttime, I can leave on or turn off. And then my view. When I do open my door, my air conditioner does go off obviously, but I do have a ceiling fan. Right now I haven't seen a lot of bugs outside, but I'm not opening the door in case the mosquitoes do come in because they will eat me alive. I do have Wi-Fi in my room. I have Wi-Fi through the whole resort. I have tons of outlets in here to plug in whatever I need, all my electronics, everything's right at my fingertips and like I couldn't be happier. It's probably one of the nicest rooms I've had ever in Cuba, just to be totally honest with you. And I have an incredible ocean view. If you're coming for a special occasion, this is the upgrade of upgrades at this hotel. Anyway, I'm going to get suited up and then we're going to go check out the best asset of this hotel. And you know what it is. That's why we all get on an airplane, folks. We came for the beach. Okay, I'm all suited up. Now we're going to hit the beach. One thing I just want to say quickly. I have a full butler service. His name is Freddy. He's at my beck and call. I think he's at the door right now. He's bringing me some lunch. Anyway, and then we're going to the beach. Hello, Freddy. Hi, how are you? Good, what do you got? Oh, you got oh, a pizza? We have a pizza, um, a hot dog. Anything I need at my beck and call, I give Freddy a call. He's on my WhatsApp number, and he comes and does whatever I need. And if you're taking over this room, you'll have the same service. Anything you need, Freddy will get it for you. Book a reservation, Freddy. Hey, you want a pizza? Freddy. If I want to go get it myself, I can, but Freddy, that's his job, and, and Freddie likes to make tips, so Freddie likes to be busy because he likes to be paid to do what he needs to do. So if you're coming here, look after Freddie for me because he's a good guy. More? Okay, Freddie. Now, I ordered all this food for the video, so I'm doing a sacrifice. And uh, Freddie's still coming in with more stuff. What do you got, Freddie? Oh, Freddie's got some ketchup, and it looks like some mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thanks, Freddy. Anyway, I'm gonna grab this lunch and then we're gonna go find the beach. Are you ready for it? That beach bar opens around 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning for cappuccino, but they close around 4.30. So if you need a cerveza, you're going back to the beach bar. Anyway, let's keep going. The best asset this country has is the beach and the safety and the people. Anyway, we got on a plane for this. And let's go check this out. Now it's very windy. The sand is like flour here. It's unbelievable. The waves are crashing, but the water just looks fantastic. I'd say it's 82, 83 degrees. Not much humidity, no mosquitoes. Life is good, folks. This is why we came here. This is it right here. Like I always say, the only thing missing is my wife. But I talked to her a couple times today. She was busy at work. I actually told her the weather wasn't very good down here. I kind of lied because I felt so bad. She'll see it in the video. It's awesome. 
Guess what? There's no kids because she's adults only. Awesome. Now there's lots of palapas. There's lots of loungers here. There's a great breeze coming right off the ocean. The watercolor is gorgeous. Like you, I always say, it looks the best right after lunch. Till about four in the afternoon, it's so vibrant and it's so warm. I think I can fix it. Now there's a few places that I can go for cocktails here. There's Route 66, I believe it's called. It opens at three o'clock till 11. They make specialty drinks. There's also the main lobby bar, it's open 24. There's probably the snack bar, 24. Anyway, time to get cleaned up. Top floor, amazing. Amazing view. Literally two minutes to the beach, two minutes to the lobby bar. Like that is incredible. And flat, like I said. Okay, I'm all cleaned up and now I'm heading for dinner. Now there's five places I can go for dinner here if I'd like to. There's the international and Asian, Italian and the gourmet. And there's also the buffet. Now I'm choosing to go to the buffet tonight because it's easy for me to get in and I can show you everything that this hotel has to offer. Now the buffet here, I'm gonna say it's small. It is low season, so there's not a lot of options going on right now. Just because you're paying the low price doesn't mean you're getting high value. So remember that there's a reason why I came in low season and there's a reason why I'm seeing and getting what I get. They have to correlate. It's called the expectation versus value. Anyway, let's go check it out and let's get something to eat. Now the buffet, if you're coming here, it opens at 6.30 to 10. And sometimes I just like coming to the buffet. I've been eating all day and I've had drinks all day. So I sometimes I just like to go to the buffet because I get to pick what I want. Anyway, I just got a piece of pizza. I got a piece of chicken. I got a little bit of rice. And then I got this chocolate dessert and I got a piece of cake. Anyway, let's indulge. Anyway, that's it for me. Like I always say, if you like my video, like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And guess what? I'll see you in the next video.